Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick Easter vlog for you guys today. It is Easter Sunday coming up this weekend, so I figured it's the perfect time for me to share um, how we celebrate uh, Easter in our family. And of course, it involves shed hunting and antlers, which makes all the sense in the world because um, as I'm sure you guys have heard it uh, called many times, it's kind of like a big Easter egg, uh, shed hunting is like a big Easter egg hunt, like for adults. So um, I've incorporated antlers into our traditions and I wanted to share that with you guys. Our kids are a little bit older now, so they are not interested in this anymore. So hopefully you guys can carry on the tradition for us. Here goes. Throughout the year is I save like all the little antlers and like chalky ones, ones that are not um, that important to us. And I make a stockpile of them. And then when Easter comes, I've got a whole bunch of them. I have a bunch of spray paint stocked up and we just turn the kids loose. When um, we celebrate Easter in the hills every year, pretty much. I don't know if we will this year. We've got a lot going on um, with everything else. But usually we're up in the hills, so the spray paint, I'm not even worried about it. It's the kids just, they have a heyday. They have so much fun. So I just like save up antlers like these. Just little tiny ones that are easily handled that they can spray paint and have fun with. Um, ooh, um, chalkier ones, older ones, ones that, like I say, don't necessarily matter to you are great ones uh, to start with. And then just get a bunch of cheap spray paint. Um, you could do acrylic paint. Um, that's going to prolong your event quite a lot, but if, if that's what you wanna do, um, you could use acrylic paints from like uh, the craft store or whatever. Spray paint's a little quicker for us and usually by the time we've gotten to that point, we have a lot more um, things that we've gotta get done. Um, and we usually do it before the kids go to bed on Easter, uh, the Easter Eve, I guess is what you would call it. So that's how we get uh, everything started. We just set up um, cardboard and stuff on the ground for the kids, give them, um, usually each kid gets like about eight antlers each, um, and then uh, spray paint, they spray paint them however they want, they can use multiple colors, whatever, they have fun. Um, one thing you do want to remember is to get gold spray paint because that is the magic, like that's the big uh, lottery winner, if you will, <laughs> of antlers uh, to find. So make sure you get some gold spray paint. I was saying just um, a second ago, the gold antler is the grand prize. Um, what Josh and I do is we get a piece of paper and we write down um, the colors of each antler and what their prize is worth. So say um, we've got a pink antler, a green antler, whatever. We say, okay, the pink antler is worth this prize. And all of the, the prizes are like family related. Um, they're meant to like bring the family together one-on-one, uh, -on -one, like um, sometimes we'll do like a dad date to the movie or um, you get to pick uh, what's for dinner. Uh, like all kinds of different things like that. Stuff that's like um, getting them engaged, not just giving them stuff. And and it's not like about candy and all of that stuff. It's, it's about um, family time and stuff like that. That's how we design our prize system. You can obviously do it however you want. Um, but I just think that's, uh, it's, it's funner, it's better than giving them a toy that they're gonna play with for like maybe a day and lose or whatever. Like, this is something they have, they can look forward to, something that they're part of. And um, I know my kids always responded really well to that. So that is a suggestion for how to set up the um, prize system. Um, you could also just, you know, let them find the antlers and just, you, you just make it yours. But that's how we do it is each antler has a value and we have it written down ahead of time. And after we have set up all the antlers, which is what we do, is we go out and we hide them for the kids, obviously. And when they're coming in, they've got their stockpile. Each, each kid has their stockpile. Um, we try to keep it as even as we can, so like one kid doesn't get like 15 antlers and one gets four antlers or whatever. Um, we try to keep it as even as we can so that they, they get um, equal prizes. So once one kid finds eight antlers, they're done. 
So the other kid, he might be out there circling the grounds for a while, but he will get his eight antlers I'm gonna too. go through some of our old photos, kind of just show you um, how we used to do it. I might have some old video of us actually doing it. I'm not sure. Uh, we weren't really into videoing what we were doing yet, so um, I don't know. I'll have pictures and stuff that I'm gonna put into this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will keep an eye out so that I can answer them for you. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I don't think a lot of people think about this. Um, people that love shed hunting and stuff, like of course we like integrate antlers into like everything we do. So this totally made sense for us and the kids love it. They have so much fun because they know that mom and dad, they find sheds and then you've got them out there, they're finding sheds and it totally, it like makes their There's a tree back here. I'll tell you how it, it's a big a tree. It doesn't go past that. Oh, Brittany found the gray one. <laughs> Jay, okay, you were by one. You were. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't want you to keep Wait, walking. How many do you have? One more. One more, One more for Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Am I standing on it? Suck it, little boy! <laughs> Suck it! That was undercrack. Bye, Boo Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you guys can uh, add this into your guys' family traditions. I hope that you guys have a great Easter. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.